Greetings everyone, Jim here from Storm Warning News, and is it safe to even go into a retail department store anymore? As a growing number of CEOs issue warnings about retail theft and the epidemic that it is across the U.S., let's have a look at some details. An increasing number of current and former CEOs have issued warnings about an increase in retail thefts across the United States, which could trigger higher prices and cause locations to close. Today, this thing is an epidemic. It's spreading faster than COVID, former Home Depot CEO Bob Nardelli told Fox News. The degree of severity now is not just theft, it's smash and grab. There's an entitlement out there that if you have it, you've worked hard to earn it, I want it, I'm just going to take it. Last week, an 83-year-old Home Depot worker was killed after being shoved by a thief at a North Carolina location. The worker attempted to confront a suspect who was making off with three power washers before he was pushed to the ground. He later died because of complications from his injuries. Now, CEO Doug McMillan of Walmart said retail theft is higher than what it has historically been and suggested that it will create widespread problems in some areas. If that's not corrected over time, prices will be higher and or stores will close, he said recently. I think lo local law enforcement being staffed and being a good partner is part of that equation, and that's normally how we approach it. He didn't indicate, again, this is CEO Doug McMillan, Walmart CEO, he didn't indicate what locations could be closed due to theft incidents. This is evidently a, uh, an industry-wide phenomenon, not just Walmart, not just Target, but across the board, my friends. I haven't been in a retail department store in a while. I don't know what... Uh, what occurs in there, but this, I believe, is a cultural and a society, societal issue as we continue to deteriorate, as we continue to turn further away from God and to our own devices, which are inspired by the devil. And some of these Walmarts closing, would they be converted into housing, if you know what I mean by that, uh, a particular type of housing during a we should say a crisis that might strike. You, you know where I'm going with this, my friends. Dangerous times we are living in as we have turned so far away from God and again to our own devices as we lisp, listen to the whisperings of the devil. And please remember, the word of God is written in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, which says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind press into Jesus Christ, my friends, and know no fear. Jim signing off until the next time. God bless you.